Now let's go through percentages. Percentages you'll find will be important when we get into power factor. Uh, percentages we'll use in efficiency. There's several applications for it, but probably the most important will be when we get into uh, power factors of circuits and so on. Uh, with percentages, we're working with, again, three variables. And of course, we've just gone through algebra, so this part shouldn't be too difficult for you. We know that the part is equal to the base times the rate. Now, the biggest trick in percentages is trying to determine which value is the base or which one is the rate in the part and so on. So let's just take a few problems and, and we'll work them out. Uh, on block three, unit six, assignment sheet two, let's just take a few of your circuits in, or, or uh, percentage problem and uh, work them out and see how we come out. In the first problem, it says 130 is what percent of 120? Now, in most cases, this will always work for you. You can say of a number, and you're talking, of, talking about of the base. If you say rate, then you're referring to, in other words, a percentage, you're referring to the rate. Uh, that should, should help you out there, too. Almost always, let's put it like that. Okay, 30, here we've got 30 now we know as, as, as being the part. 30 is what percent of 120? So, so 30 is the part and 120 is the base, so we're looking for the rate. Now, to isolate the rate, I would have to divide both sides by the base to come up with a formula, the rate is equal to the part divided by the base. Now, if I plug in the variables that I know, we know we have 30 over 120. I can reduce, divide 10 into both sides. If I take uh, uh, 3 divided by 12, I would have 2.2. 24, 65. I'll have an answer there that's 0.25. Convert that to a percentage. I'll multiply it times 100, and that would be 25 then percent. So we know then that 30 is 25 percent of 120 then that means then that I could have taken 30 times 4, you see, and come up with 120. So this is the, the procedure that you would use, a lot like you would use in Ohm's Law. It's just that you have other variables. All you have to do is remember that formula and do what the formula tells you to do, and you'll come up with the right answer. Now we can also make a pi diagram out of that, but remember I just, I hate to see you use pi diagram because you guys are ahead of that kind of stuff. We would know that the part is equal to the base times the rate. I can, uh, you can make up, you can make up a pi diagram with any formula. Any formula with three variables, you can, you can put in a pi diagram like this. And use it the same way. If I'm looking for the part, take the base times the rate. If I'm looking for the base, take the rate into the part. One thing you want to remember, if the rate's given to you in a percentage, then you want to divide that by 100. You see, you divide that, that, uh, that percentage by 100, and that would be 0.2. Now, you have to use that, you have to use that, uh, that decimal in your formula. So you don't don't put the percentage in the formula. Put the the percentage uh, or put the decimal equivalent of that percentage in the formula. Uh, we'll use we'll use like I say percentages in efficiency. Uh, there's one problem ten there where it's got a motor has an output of five horsepower. Uh, the motor has an output of, uh, of 5 horsepower. This is 85% of the power 
into the motor calculate the power input. Uh, the input would be the base. The output is never, you know, if you had, if, if it put out more than you put into it, you see that wouldn't be practical either. So, so you know that the output of the motor is the part. Here's, here's, one, here's one way you may want to uh, work your word problems out. Uh, we're working with a part, we're working with a base, and we're working with a rate. In this problem, we're just working. Now, go through, read out, read, and find out which variables you've got and what you're looking for, and then make your formula for that. Uh, here we know the part, we're talking five horsepower. Is that in my picture? Yeah. Okay. We're working with five horsepower. The base is what we're looking for. We know that the rate is 0.85 or 85 percent. Uh, so what I want to do is find my base, and we know the formula for the base is equal to the part divided by the rate. In this case, then, we're going to take five and divide it by 0.85. Now I'm, I'm going to divide 5 by 0.85. What I want to do is move the decimal here two places to the right. That means I have to go inside here and move my decimal two places to the right again. So my decimal will be right here. Now I divide that in there. That's going to go in there, what, 5, 6, 6, 6, 5 times. It's going to go uh, 25, 242, 5, 7, 0. It goes in there 9 uh, times, 8 times. 468, uh, 0, 7. Okay, roughly we've got, got 5.8 then for a base for our answer. And now this is it. it would have to be in horsepower. And of course what are you you know, when we get into uh, into some more math problems you'll see there'll be a conversion from watts to horsepower and vice versa. The energy that we would put into a motor would be in the form of watts. And of course watts we're looking at at a situation where you have like I said, we aren't into this yet, but when we get into power, we'll do that. Uh, 746 watts per horsepower. So for every horsepower, if I have uh, 746 watts, I would want to multiply my horsepower times my watts, and that would give me my watts input. You're putting electrical energy in and getting mechanical energy out and uh, we'll be working with efficiency and so on.